Hello and welcome to X Witness Awake. I'm your host, Jonathan. Hi, I'm Jonathan's wife, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Why'd you say it like that? I, I don't know. I'm excited? Not Wendy. Wendy. Oh, oh, it is Wendy. Dang, all this time. <laughs> I thought it was Wendy. Start over. Yeah, this is fun. You were like, Wendy? Oh, it is Wendy outside. I control that. <laughs> She's powerful. Don't mess with her. She can control the weather. Yes. So. Oh, you want to be in it? Okay. <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> all right. No, just kidding. No, no. So, um, I haven't posted in a little bit. I thought I would. <laughs> I love you. My wife and I are weirdos. Mm -hmm. So, just so you know. Um, it would be weird to be married to you. It's true. It's true. I'm sure that they're not surprised. Yeah, they're probably not surprised. Um, so what I was doing today is I thought I would um, talk about what I'm thankful for. Because we just had the Canadian Thanksgiving, which was yesterday. And you made a lovely dinner. It was delish. Thanksgiving goes against my heritage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, that's a that's a topic for another day. <laughs> that you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. So um, it just reminds me to be thankful for what I have and who I'm with. And um, she likes me. <laughs> kind of stuck. So. What? <laughs> Dang, I forgot to sign the prenup. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. We're probably gross. Mm -hmm. People are like, oh my god, get a room. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm thankful for what I have in my life because if, if things had gone a different way and I decided to stick with being a Jehovah's Witness and continue to go to the meetings you know, sent a couple of letters to the elders saying, hey, I'm repentant, and please bring me back. I don't want to lose my, my friends and my family. Um, I wouldn't have what I have today. So I'm glad that I didn't do that. I have a pretty awesome family. Um, yeah, I have a million children. <laughs> Just five. Just five. <laughs> <laughs> Five it's million. Cost total. a million dollars each. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. It's the cost of raising children is five million each. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So, you know, like I don't. Obviously, you, you're aware that I don't talk to my mom, and um, she was going to go visit a few months ago. My sister had convinced her to come to do me. to come visit. Come visit you. You said go visit. Right. Just... Words. I'm still learning them. Uh, English isn't his first language. <laughs> okay. Love is. Love, yes. Um, <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, so she was going to come visit, but I think with all the things that have been posted lately, it just reminded her that she can't do that because it's going against Jehovah's will. To talk to who to talk to her firstborn son, and um, yeah, that kind of sucks. So if my mom was a part of my life, she could have seen uh, the birth of her grandson and met all the wonderful kids and come to her house and be at her wedding and all those great things. But no, she didn't. So, but at least your sister's king. To the they wedding, did. at least. I appreciate that. I, I mean, to be fair, your mom probably wouldn't have seen the birth. <laughs> Get out of here, mom! <laughs> Go back to the waiting room, you weirdo! <laughs> Security would have taken her. There was no guests. Get her out of here! Yeah. That might have been embarrassing. But anyway. No, because she wouldn't have been allowed. That's all. That's Not true. Me. That's true. Is this the right angle? <laughs> I had to stop for a moment to, uh, to figure out what I'm going to do with the video part. So I think I'm probably just going to make this an audio bit and put our 
our nice mugs on it. What do you think? It's probably easier than fixing what we just did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, as I was saying, I'm thankful for the life that we have now. And, um, holy crap, I'm so glad I'm not part of that organization anymore. Because... <laughs> If only you could see what she's doing. <laughs> I'll save that for another day. That'll be for my Patreons. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll edit that part. Anyway. Obviously. <laughs> I'm Al Slayer. Um. Yes. You definitely would not have had Thanksgiving dinner. That's right. I would have probably had burgers. <laughs> Instead of a lovely turkey. What's your favorite food? Turkey. Uh, turkey. <laughs> turkey. No, burger. my favorite food is is uh, Latin food. I don't know. Mexican. I don't know, I don't know if I, I don't know if I've ever said that to anyone. Ecuadorian. You know, on the video thing. Oh, I'm like I totally knew. I don't know. <laughs> if you can track back at episode two, I'm like Mexican food's the shit, man. <laughs> His favorite meal is chicken enchiladas. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, so send chicken enchiladas to P.O. Box. <laughs> no, maybe not. Feed the homeless. I, I forgot to check the P.O. Box and they've gone bad. You are weird. I, <laughs> I have a problem. I love it. I, I think... Me <laughs> so, should I... Uh, should I... In, the, in my editing process, should I put... Your video of you as a Wendy's rapper? Maybe. <laughs> yes. What? what? <laughs> You're such a freak. I love you. You're a video. <laughs> it's good stuff, let me tell you. So, uh, I guess the whole point. <laughs> oh my god. I told you I can't do this. This is the class clown. <coughs> class clown over here. Yeah, Why so, is it so small in here? Because it's the inside of a car. <laughs> <laughs> why is it in this room? It's okay, my house. That's fair. <laughs> but why do you go hold it so low? Uh, because I'm. Uh, okay. See, that's much better. It's on my face. I'm, I am editing this as an audio only. Just for the sole purpose of you not having to see all the crap in my backseat of my car. <laughs> and my wife making a fish face. So, yes, um, be thankful for the things that you... <laughs> the things that you have and the, the important people in your life. And if some of those people aren't there, then... Maybe they're not as important as you thought. Maybe you need to find your own tribe and find your own community of people. And marry a weirdo. You'll you'll thank me later. Just your kind of weirdo. <laughs> yes. Smooch. I love you. I love you too. Okay. I'm very grateful for you. Thank you for marrying me. You're welcome. <laughs> Why is it funny? I don't know. Because okay. I felt like I was saying it like you were like, thank you for, for coming to our store today. <laughs> thank, You're welcome. Thank you for being a valued customer. But seriously, like you marrying me is like a life changing. Well, I should hope so. Thing that happened. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for meeting me in Hamilton all those years ago. Mm. So far away. Well, it was. And a it was Hamilton. <laughs> It was a 45 minute drive and I thought, I think my limit is 50 minutes. So you just oh, came under the wire. It's a good thing I lived on the West Mountain. That's right. <laughs> if you'd been on the other side of town, you're like, nope. That's too far east. Nah. Oh my goodness. I don't know how this is gonna sound as a finished product, but uh, hopefully you've enjoyed our little banter. banter. And we'll be uh, back when the day's new. And I have got more faces for you. <laughs> Don't play that part. You can get that out. What are you, the ghost of Mr. Rogers?
Maybe. Hello, neighbor. Listen, I love Mr. Rogers. <laughs> I like old men. Well. Oh, God. Yeah, it's true. I just turned 50, so. I, I guess I could call, classify oh, myself yeah. as, as old. old. 50. Yeah. Oh, Horace. Oh, my dearest Calliope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, if you've made it this far through this, this travesty. So I guess in the tradition of Thanksgiving, um, comment what you're thankful about. What things do you, do you get to do now that you didn't get to do then? And what people do you have in your life that you wouldn't have had in your life if you were still part of the organization. Like me. Like me. You definitely like not you. have me in your life if you were still part no, of No, that's, that's true. A I, thousand percent we would have not been seen in the same places. <laughs> yeah, maybe I would have been out in like, Hamilton in service, knocking your door and you'd be like, get out of here. <laughs> I never was rude. Never yeah. once when somebody knocked on my door. I and and you would have been like, you don't have your try. You, I feel like you would look really good with a beard, but you don't have that. <laughs> You're you, out. You weasel, get out of here. <laughs> no. I'm thankful for my beard. Yes, that too. There you go. So, uh, that is all. Thank you for listening, watching, whatever this is, and I will catch you next time. Bye for now. Bye. Nice to meet you. Say bye, Wendy. Bye, Wendy. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> bye.